Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the brand new Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. This came out a couple of days ago and I've been testing it out and I am going to share my final thoughts as well as do my makeup with you guys so that you can see some of the shades in action. So if you're interested in that, keep watching and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. This is what the outside of the packaging looks like. This palette retails for $10.99. I will list it down below in the bottom bar in case you're interested in it, but it is pretty plasticky packaging. It's pretty thin and it's not huge. It's definitely bigger than my hand, like my palm, but it's not a gigantic palette. So if you did want to travel with it, you'd be able to. On the back of it, it does have the shade names and then it also has three different looks that you can do with written out instructions. I wish, so the looks are in black and white and I just feel like this isn't that helpful because you can't see what the looks look like. So how would you know which one you wanted to do? That in theory would be good if they had, you know, colored photos, but the black and white I just feel like doesn't do anything for you. Anyway, that is what the packaging looks like. And then if you flip it up inside, these are the shades. I think it's really pretty. I love the layout of it. They do say that this palette is scented like lemons and I do not see that. Like I guess maybe a little bit, but it's nothing compared to some of the Tarte and Too Faced products. Those smell like chocolate. This doesn't smell like lemons or lemonade. It's like a fake fruity scent. So I don't think it's like high quality scents. <laughs> All right, let's go through the shades. First up is Sherbert, which is a really no nice like bone shade. It's a matte so that you can set down your eyelids if you have foundation or any kind of eyeshadow primer on there. Next up is Berry Ice, which these two shades are pretty similar in my opinion. This has a little bit more of a rosy tint to it, but again, a nice matte shade. Next up is Sunny's, which is more of a cool toned matte, and this one has a little bit of a yellow tint to it. It's like a yellowy white, and this is another one. I've set my brow bone with it before, and then I've also set down my entire lid with it. Moving on, there's Main Squeeze, and this is a yellow shimmer shade, like a yellow gold. And then you have Strawberry Lemonade, which is like a rose gold shimmer shade. This one is really, really gorgeous. Next is one of the pops in the palette, which is Lemonade Craze. It's this really bright poppy yellow shade. And then moving below, you have Citrus, which is almost like a duo-toned. Um, it's like a yellow gold, but also has a bit of like a pink undertone to it. Then you have your next pop of color, which is Pop Ice. It's a really pretty bright pink poppy shade. And then you have Coral Punch, which is a little bit more peachy in my opinion, but it is definitely still a pop of color. On the right side, you have Sweet Tea. This is like a medium cocoa brown shade, and this is a nice matte to do your transitions with. And then down to the last two, you have Old Fashioned, which is the darkest shade in the palette, and this is a kind of medium brown matte shade. And then last but not least is Sugar Coated, which is a really pretty copper shimmer shade, which is really pretty all over the lids. As I'm sure you could see, some of the swatches were a little bit more powdery than others. The most powdery ones are the matte shades, the Sherbert and the Sunnies. These two shades are so powdery. And then also Sweet Tea and Old Fashioned are pretty powdery. I will say that Ice Pop and Lemonade Craze, these two pops of color, show up in the swatches, but they just didn't show up when I blend them out on my eyes. And then this shade is Main Squeeze. This is a really pretty shimmer. I tried putting it, it's actually in my inner corners. This one has a lot of fallout and it's really glittery, so I'm not the biggest fan of this one. If I'm going to do a glitter, I would rather do a loose pigment and use glitter glue and do the whole thing because this just kind of separates the glitter and you don't see as much of the color as you see just glitter fallout. But I will say my two favorite shades in this palette are Strawberry Lemonade and Sugar Coated. Strawberry Lemonade is just so buttery and creamy and it's just the most gorgeous, like rose gold gorgeous shade. And then Sugar Coated is the same formula, only a nice copper. 
both of these are just such pretty lid colors and I cannot say enough good things about them. So these two are by far my favorite colors. I think they are stunning lid shades. I'm just going to show you a close up of the palette and see you guys should be able to see kind of some of the fallout and how dirty this palette is already. I've used it, uh, I cleaned it up before I used it today. So this is all just from one makeup application. It just has powder and dust everywhere. So it does have fallout, which like I've said before, fallout doesn't bother me. What bothers me is shades like this one that are just glittery and then the glitter falls all over the place. I don't like that, but regular fallout doesn't bother me that much. Okay, let's jump into me actually applying these shades. I have my face makeup done, but I have nothing on my eyes, obviously. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Sherbert, which is this like neutral peachy shade, just with a fluffy brush and um, just kind of set my eyelid because I did put foundation on it. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade Sweet Tea. It's like a light-ish, kind of like a cocoa brown. Um, one thing about this palette is it doesn't have a mirror, and so I want to like hold it up to do my eye makeup, but I don't have that mirror, so I'm just going to use a different compact. But I'm just going to fluff this into the crease. All right, I'm going to go in with Coral Punch right here with this other fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put this a little bit lower into the crease. I'm just gonna try to pack it on a little bit more and see if I can build up that coral color. If not, we'll go in with something else. Okay, I was able to build that up just a little bit more. So now I'm going to go in with a more pointed brush into Old Fashioned, which is the darkest shade in the palette. It's this chocolatey brown shade. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer V. Okay, for my lid shade, I'm just, I picked up citrus and strawberry lemonade and I'm just mixing them and putting it all over my lid. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush and the coral punch and just kind of blend it back out in my crease. All right, now I'm gonna take my smudge brush and go into Old Fashioned and just smudge this on my lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Lemonade Craze, that bright yellow, and smudge that under my lash line. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with Citrus and smudge that under my lash line as well. All right, I'm going to add liner and mascara and then I will be right back. All right, so I put on my eyeliner, which I'm using the Bare Minerals Lasting Line Absolute Black Liner. I just put this on my upper lash line and then smudged it out with a smudge brush. Put on my mascara, which today I used the NYX Worth the Hype as my first coat and then the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise as my second coat. And then for my lips, I used the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner in the shade Nudist. And then I put the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar on top of that. So I'll link all of these down below in case you are interested. Overall, I love the way that this makeup look turned out. I think it's gorgeous, but I have used this palette about three or four times and I get almost the same look every single time I use it, even though I use different shades. So that's kind of a down downfall for me. I personally like palettes that I can get a more versatile look out of and just kind of get different looks every time I use the palette. Um, I will say that there are certain shades in here that I just think are total duds. That uh, yellow shade, the Lemonade Craze, on my skin, it just blended out into nothing, and I'm sure it's different on different skin tones and different skin types, but for me, that was a dud. Um, Ice Pop and Coral Punch, these two shades end up looking pretty similar on my eyelids, even though they look different in the pan, and I think, again, just my skin tone and skin type, maybe, I'm not really sure. Um, and then these two, Old Fashioned and Sweet Tea, they look pretty different in the pans, but they end up looking pretty similar on my skin as well, and they're just different shades of brown. I wish one of them was darker so that I could use it as a liner and just get more depth in the outer V. I tried to build that up, and I just didn't get that much depth out of it. So that was kind of a downfall for me, but there are a couple shades in here, like I showed you earlier, that are just blew me away. 
the um, sugar coated and southern lemonade both of these i'm going to reach for all the time for my lid shade i think they are absolutely stunning so even if i used a different shade as like my base of my look i can still see myself going into this palette and grabbing those two shades i think this is a good palette if you already have an everyday palette and you're looking for something fun but not necessarily a palette that you're going to reach for all the time i can't see myself traveling with this palette because it doesn't have everything i need in it and it doesn't have a mirror if you want to try something fun and this one was on your list, I can see giving it a try, but I would definitely say don't be disappointed if all of the shades don't work for you. So that is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.